Hello, hello, hello. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I am here to decorate a little Christmas envelope. It's a little padded envelope, as you can see. I'm going to put a little gifty in here and ship it off to someone very special to me. And maybe you too. Don't know. I'm going to mark it with the pencil here. And then I'm going to measure that across there. Pretty close. Pretty close. I'm going to cut those edges off. Cut this one straight across because I can use it on the back as well. So how is everybody today? I hope you were all fine and dandy. Just like candy. Get rid of that for now. And let's see. Where, oh, where is that other mark? I think that might be it right there. Yes, right there. It's very hard to see. I just did a little scratchy mark. And I've picked this piece as a decorative element for it. And I want to mark this so I can cut it just about the same. And so I have not finished the fall journal yet. Um, gosh. I hope to get to it. I really do. But it might be next fall. Ee -ee. No, I'll try and get to it. I'll try and finish it up off of camera and, and show you what it looks like. It actually looks quite good. Um, I haven't done the buttons on it yet. I wanted to do buttons down the spine and see how that goes. <laughs> we don't know, do we? Yeah, I've never done that. Um, I know a lot of people do. But I've already sewn my spine in, so I have to figure out how I'm going to put the buttons on. And not sew it into the spine. I mean, I suppose I could go back through the sewing and maybe do it that way. Okay. You are the front of the envelope for right now. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac if I can get it possibly out of here. I should have filled it. So I uh, <laughs> should by all means be fast asleep <clears throat> because I mixed my meds up this morning, took my nighttime meds and this morning, <laughs> which has a, not a sleeping pill, but it's a medication that helps you to sleep without giving you all the side effects of, well, I don't know, I still get side effects. I usually have to sleep another hour after I get up and sit in my chair and drink coffee and so I don't know. Anyway, mixed them all up. Took my night meds this morning. And, uh, oh, what's wrong with me? Anyway, so I've been pretty tired this morning. It's just the way it is. I'm going to scoop this up. Well, maybe I'm not. Maybe it is attached. It is very attached. <laughs> it glued itself right down to that. I don't know why. But I, it's soft. It's a soft envelope because it has the bubble wrap in it. So I do want to make sure I get things over to the edges and stuff. I guess that's okay. Let's see what happens if we ink it up a little bit. 
Can we do that? Oh, look, what's, look who's coming apart. Oh my goodness. Maybe it won't work. Let's see if I can stay on camera today. Sheesh. Kept getting off camera yesterday. I'm really sorry about that. I try not to. But hey. I try and... That's the first time I've ever taken my night, night meds in the morning too. So, I don't know. Crazy stuff. It's a crazy life. I'm going to glue that on there for a second. Check out the rest of it. This must be why I had the idea that I might um, cut another piece to wrap on the bottom. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. I don't know. I think it's going to be okay. I might not have to. Let's just ink it up and see what happens. Not stink it up, but ink it up. Let's just try it. Not bad. It's a yellow brown. That'll work. Why not? It does have glue sticking out there. Okay. That should be glued. Okay. Open. This one is going to go right down here. Now see it. This fits so nice. Hmm. Hmm. The, the dog heard my paper. So she's barking, thinking somebody's knocking on the front door. <coughs> Excuse me. poke this pin in here because it's a little plugged up on the inside too. And that never ever helps to get glue out of a bottle. Oh my goodness. She's so not tolerant today. Of course, I'm talking about myself, not the dog. <laughs> oh, the dog had so much fun. Our uh, other daughter brought over her dog, Ivy. And Libby and Ivy play and play and play. They absolutely adore each other. funny to watch them because they're, they're just goofy. Bouncing around and hopping and playing and teasing the kids. Oh my goodness. They are a barrel of laughs, I'll tell you. Them and the kids. We had a really nice Thanksgiving with all of our kids here. It was just so wonderful to hear all the girls laughing at the table. The daughters, daughter-in-laws. Oh my gosh. 
was really awesome. I had so many moments of awe. <laughs> we had our Thanksgiving early, of course, so that we could have it while my daughter was still here because she had to go home before Thanksgiving. So, yeah, anyway, it was, it was really awesome. That was the first time that one of our daughter-in-laws had met our daughter, Jessica. So, that was really nice, but oh gosh, they all had such a, such a good time. Just really amazing. Just amazing people, you know it? Sometimes I look at my kids and I'm like, who are you? Who is this amazing person you've become? Oh my gosh. It's the weirdest thing. So, okay. There's that part and that part and that part is not done. Okay, now. I think, I think what we'll do. Not sure yet. No. I think we might put this on there. I was actually going to put it over that but I think maybe I'll just do it this way so that it covers up the back here I think what I'll do is glue it on first and then I will cut it off to the correct shape. What do you think? Yay or nay? I don't like that piece. Go with another one of these. Flip it over. No, nope. that's not it. That's the same. Oh dear. What do we use? Oh, what about that? What about that? Ooh, I like it. I do like that. I'm going to use it. So we know we've got to cut it off. I think, actually, actually, I think what we'll do is make it a little longer right about here let's try and do that light because that's a pen let me put that away so I don't use it again my desk is a mess look at this magnets on the bottom Needs to be centered so we're going to cut it off right here and right here let's start there who knows does she know what she's doing I don't know I don't think so I don't have any room in here and I'm just about fed up with myself just about. Not quite. But it is high time for me to get this mess cleaned up. I hope this is straight, you guys. Looks straight. And then, what I want to do is 
figure out where my line was at. How am I supposed to know where my lines are if I don't do a good job? I want to bring it down. I guess it's that little dot right there. That's right, because I used the pen. <sighs> so just line this up on any place that you want to score it. Just like that. And then you want to fold it like that. And then we're going to cut it like this. Yeah. Throw that over there. Now, we are going to attach this right here. Well, I really want it mostly attached up here. So I'm going to do that first. No, I'm going to do this first. And then this. And we're going to ink across here. And this is Colorbox Espresso. It's a um, pigment. Archival pigment. Ink. I'll get it all in there pretty soon. Okay. I'm going to run that clear up to that line. Yep. I'm going to have to put them in here. We'll come back and get the other part in just a minute. table because I know there's glue on there. Yeah, I'll take this off and we're going to go this way just like so. And fold that over. Pop it off fits. Oh, I think I ripped it. It's going to be off just a little bit. And I did right there. I ripped it. Oh, no. Okay. We're just going to... Nice uh, envelope off there because it still is just fine. Now, that, what are we going to do there, guys? Washi tape? I think we're going to. Oh, I know. I know. Hold on to your hats. We can use something favorited. Oh, I have a piece of lace we could use. Ooh, wouldn't that be pretty? Oh, look at this. And if she wanted, she could just take this off of here. Look at that. And we could just leave it hang over like that. That might be cool. Let's see. Well, here, like that. So 
so we can still see this. So what we'll do is we'll run some glue right on here. And we'll smish it down so it doesn't all ooze out. We'll about center it. And then we'll smush this one down here. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, I like it so far. We'll finish the back up too. That won't be a problem. Okay. So, right about here. And that, my dears, will fix where I tore the end of Huh. Imagine. We can just fix our own tears. Oh, how sweet. I hope she knows she can just tear this off of here and use it on something else. I think she will. There. Oh, that is so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? So we need something on there. Maybe this to go with that? What do you think? Yeah? Okay. There we go. These have, um, these are like on little wires into here. I don't know how that is, but I guess it's okay. I'll put glue on it. Okay, there's that. Yeah. What else does it need? Oh, something right back here. Okay. I think I have some red ribbon I can put back there. Just a minute. This is my large container of laces. And I don't see anything in there that's red, so squish that back in there but I had to move that to get to this next one there's the lid I probably should pick much lighter weight items oh you know what I should have done should have put this one on here and then one out here and they could have tied on the sides Okay, but they're going to go up here anyway, so it doesn't matter. kind of like that sticking out there. Let's stick it out over here, too. That might be too big. Yeah, I don't think I like it. Like that. I'm going to even it off. And run a bead of glue. Oops. Going to run it clear across. I don't want it to absorb through though. 
So hopefully we avoid that. needs to be on here all the way. Okay, open that. Yeah, that'll do. Get the rest of the glue off of there. Okay. Ooh, pretty. I think I will trim this. I think I will. No, I think I won't because I already got that there. Well, I can trim around that. Do you think? No, I'm going to leave it. I'm leaving it that way. Okay. Drum roll, please. Okay. Now, how's it going to stick? Maybe we won't stick it. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. No, that's not appropriate. What could we put there? Gosh, I didn't think that far into it. What we need is something like that that goes into a little hole or something right there. Or a band. Band on the line. Hmm. Don't know. I'd have to cover it with something. Maybe more green. It doesn't need to be that long. Let's see. Well, what if it was that long? Let's just cover it and see what happens. Okay. This is an experiment, ladies and gentlemen. Do not try this at home alone. Be sure you have your video on and your friends at the ready to save you. Now this side will get glued down, right? Right? I think. Yeah. Right. This is an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's just try it. Try as we might. We couldn't get it on there quite right. I probably should have just cut out another one of these shapes 
on the machine. It is a die cut after all. So I could have just die cut it. That's all right. We like we like doing it this way instead. Besides, I'd have to turn the camera off and then turn it back on. Oh, yeah, we will still have to cover that part, won't we? Oh, Ange, you're so difficult, honey. But let's see what it's going to look like first. See if we even like it. Well, I think we do. Gives it kind of some dimension coming down from here. Kind of like a stair step. It's the grand staircase. Okay, so maybe right about there. So we know it's going to be a little longer than that. And we should have it in green. But I don't know if I have green left. What's this? Red. Red. Let me get back into the Christmas box. Now we have a darker green. Right. Oh, same green. Or... Um, how about if I just go with one of those because it's already cut down. Um, like this one. I mean, look at that. That's kind of pretty. I have to cut this piece off though or I'll be trying to size it right onto there. Onto the whole piece. A lot of work for a little envelope, huh? But it is kind of fun. It is fun. I do like it. Okay. So, and the nice thing about it is this will make it even stiffer. So I'm going to put this right along that edge so I don't have to cut that edge anyway and we better figure out exactly where we need to glue it right there really didn't need that much did we but let's go for it my glue's not coming out guys So adding this little piece right over there, and this needs to come down to there. Excuse my curls if they get in the way. I've got my hair curled. I put a perm on top, guys. Girls, ladies and gentlemen, there are curls on top of my head. Do not be alarmed. Did I tell you that we had a fire? Oh my goodness. We had a wire fire. That was scary. So, no. That if you hear a click, 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 over and over and over and over again in your house, seek it out immediately. <laughs> because it's probably a wire fire or uh, a plug-in that 
is no longer any good. That's what ours was. It was uh, the ones that have the little light on them and the button that pops out. Well, the button never popped. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was quite, quite frightening. I was good until <laughs> the smoke started. Um, I saw that the wall was quite burnt. But, yeah, we didn't have to call the fire department or anything, but we got the breaker shut down. And now that breaker is very well marked, I must say. Because it really wasn't, you know, I don't know if you've ever looked in your breaker box. But, you know, they never number them off good for you. I mean, they, they'll put numbers on them and stuff like that, but... They're never, you know, lights, okay, lights where? Plugs, plugs where? <laughs> anyway, it took a minute or two to find the correct outlets. And then we fixed it. That was on our Thanksgiving day with all the kids here. Okay, what do you think? We good? Okay, let's ink it up and that'll be better. Once again, using the espresso color. I love the espresso. It's a little darker than all the rest. I just love it. Now, what if, oh gosh, this is, this is what I do. I'm constantly thinking, now what if, what if we just turn this into a little pocket here and then it could be like a tag. This may be enough to hold this down be honest with you okay so that's going to go right to there and that is going to come the glue and press there oh dear I can't hardly see it but it is there if I turn it just so I should be able to see it With the light. So, as you said, no pocket. But what a cool idea it would be. You could put the little pocket there with the little tag that says who it's to. And all that kind of cool stuff, right? Nope. Maybe there. Let's flip it this way and get this on here evenly. gets so sticky when there is ink and then the ink gets really sticky that's kind of ucky oh dear I'm gonna have to scoot it over a little bit I think let's try that 
That's better. It still could go that way. Just about a tiny. Just a tiny. Tiny bit. Oh, it's still not heavy enough. I was hoping it'd be heavy enough to hold it down. I think we have to put like something heavier on there, but I think what we'll do is go ahead and give it a band. No, we're not going to be able to bend it, guys. No, it's not going to work. Hmm. Pretty soon we'll have it right down to here. We'll have an envelope in an envelope. What could it be? What do you do with the drunken sailor? Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know what we could do? We could hole punch this and put a brad in. And with our brad, we can be glad that we don't have to punch holes in ourselves to get our clothes to stay up. Or anything else like that. So we could use one of Oh, there's kind of a gold one. Tarnished. We like tarnished. Okay. Here's what we're doing. <laughs> we're getting there. I'm going to put that right there. And there's where I punch my hole. Here we go. There we go. And we'll punch that through there. And we'll move this up to there. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. So now, a closure is what is needed. Oh, we'll get it figured out. Where's that jar? Here it is. We have several of those. I don't know what they were on, but something. We don't need that many. Just looking. Okay. So. That's not going to be long enough, guys. Nope, nope. We need something longer. Not that one either. Okay, over to the ribbon drawer. I'll be right back. I'm not going to put you on hold. Okay. Oh, we have this. And that would be different than that. So that would be good in that respect. It's a little wide, but I kind of like wider ribbon to tie things close. And this had wire in it. I took the wire out. Excuse me. My nose is... 
and naughty. Or is it naughty or snotty? I think it's snotty, but I've got had a bad cold. <clears throat> nice thing when you, for some reason, develop uh, these syndromes, is just you get sick for no apparent reason. It's such great fun. I don't know what I'd do without it, man. It's just so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Now, I realize that this is not going to really <clears throat> tie in there very well. So we have to create something in there that makes it stay, but doesn't yet hog up the space of the underside making it fat again. So I need to get both ends through there like that. And then what should we do? This way? I think so. I think that's what we're going to do. It's catching up on the wire, on um, the uh, stuff a little bit. That'll work. Good enough. And then we're just going to take it like this. Bring it around the front. And we're going to put a bow in it. Just like that. What do you think? We have a nice little envelope now. You know, I thought I took the wire out, but it's still in there. It is still in there. Well, gee, no wonder it's forming. No wonder. I wondered why it was acting like that, like you could form it into a real bow. But I personally like it without the wire, but it has it, so let's go with it. There's that one. And this one, I'm going to cut this one. Oh, well, twist it in there. Throw that in there. Don't throw it away. Good thing my garbage wasn't under there. Or I uh, tossed it. Okay. So there we go. Clever little present. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I'm not going to show you what it is. See if it fits. It's not very, it's fat. So I need to get it down in that envelope. I'm not gonna shove it down there any further. I'm just trying to unbuckle the base of the envelope a little bit. There we go. Okay. The little ribbons are sticking out. So she will know that it is in there. So this will go this way. And then this one is going to go like this. And that's going to go there. Okay, in the center, <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, so there is this one. So you can tell now it's not the shipping envelope, is it? But there we go. How cute. Oh my gosh, it is adorable. You could ship it this way, but not with the bow on it, but you'd have to seal it. But you could put a label on it, and it should ship fine, as long as it's... Um, it would have to be hand-stamped, hand you know. So here is the piece that goes with it. And then I have this. Not the perfect wrapping paper to go with it when the rest of it's all Christmassy, huh? But there we go. Oh, I think I need to wrap it in something Christmassy. Oh dear, what'll I do? I don't think I have a Christmas wrap. Oh, oh I have a Christmas Hold your horses. Hang on to your hats. I have the idea. And it's very Christmassy. Let's see. What else I have? Not there. Okay. I got this little celebrate bundle of fabrics. At Walmart. Um, the cotton flannels. And each one is a fat quarter, I think. 18 by 21. So. How about that? That's a perfect Christmas one. Should I just leave it in that little wraps and then wrap it up in this fat quarter? Kind of shows there. But how cute is that? I think we better do it this way. Here's one. Here's the other. And wrap it. And wrap it. And wrap it. Not like a rabbit, but like a wrap it. And then we'll just fold that like that. And then we'll have to tie it. With some more of this ribbon. Okay, so if I start here. This one. I'll try and hold the hat down. I never said I could wrap presents. <laughs> I can make a book. I just can't wrap a present. Okay. 
I think I got it. Yeah, good deal. I got that fabric on. It was on sale. I don't know what price it had on it, but it was cheaper than that. I think they were trying to get rid of it. She doesn't poke herself with these crazy wires. I always try to take everything out that's pokey because I don't like people to get hurt on something I make. Well, that doesn't look good. It's not going to look good going through the mail anyway. Okay, so we have these two items, the one in here and this. And I made this too, but I can't open it because then you'll see what's in it. And I'm not going to show you right now. Okay. What do you think? I think we got it. Yay! Now all I have to do is box it up and away it goes. All right, well, thanks for joining me today as I wrapped up some gifts, and I hope you all have a great day. I hope you'll go make one of these envelopes and mail it off to somebody. Um, I think I'll make another one of these. I'm going to send a little thing to uh, Robin, but she doesn't have a memory deck, so I'm going to just send her a card without the memory deck's punches. Just because I want to. I don't know. Anybody have memory decks? And would you like uh, like to send me your memory decks card? Decorated up with a couple of your favorite items on it. That's what Carol's doing for her birthday month. Then she's going to use it for giveaways. And I think, you know, that's a cool idea. We could do that. But anyway, this gift is something else, so I couldn't show it all to you because then, you know, word might get out. Because I do have family on this, on this uh, channel too. Okay, well, thanks for joining me, and I'm going to put this in a box and weigh it and get the shipping on it and off it goes in the mail today so thanks for joining me and i hope you all enjoyed this wonderful making of an envelope and i will see you all tomorrow bye